What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building, coming to bring you another great video. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create the Strawberry Crunch Cheesecake Fruit Cheat Treat Salad. Yes, it sounds a bit much, but it has been trendy, and today I'm going to share with you how to create my version of this treat salad. Here I have some already made strawberry crumble, and you're gonna need some pineapples, some blueberries, some fresh sliced strawberries, some Granny Smith sliced apples, or apples of your choice. You're gonna need some melted chocolate, this is white merkin, some lemon juice, some parchment paper, and some long toothpicks. You're gonna need some already made cheesecake, fresh strawberries, and a Granny Smith apple some marshmallow fluff and cream cheese, and some strawberry syrup. And here I'm going to share with you a few packaging of these desserts. So we're gonna get right into it and let's cut our fresh fruit. So taking your strawberry, you wanna cut off the top of it. And I normally cut my strawberry down the center to give that nice triangular uh, shape of the strawberry. So as you see here, I have cut right down the middle, okay? And then you want to cut a nice thick piece. You don't want it to be too thin, but nice and thick for your family or friends to pick up. And I'm also going to dip these in chocolate as well. So you just want to cut it as you see here, thick enough to handle. And now you're just gonna take that fruit and you just put it in a bowl and put it to the side. And we're gonna be ready to dip just a few of these pieces in this chocolate. Here, you want to make sure you dry your strawberry before dipping because it is sliced. And you just want to dip the tip. Now I'm just dipping the tip just for a little small decoration for this particular uh, fruit treat salad. So you want to dip and just lay it right onto your parchment paper. And after you're done, you just let them sit to dry. And then you have a few pieces and you can make as many as you want. Now we're going to set this to the side. And now let's cut our Granny Smith apple. Here you want to cut your apple and be careful you want to use an apple slicer and yes I'm shaking the table a little bit because this apple was a little bit larger in size okay so here it cuts out in eight slices all right and you want to be careful because it is sharp on the back and you want to take your lemon juice and then start applying your apples to the lemon juice this will prevent your apples from browning quickly. So now you want to take your apples, you want to dry them completely, and then insert your toothpicks, your long toothpicks. So here I'm inserting my sticks and they're all ready for dipping. So here I have my super white Merkins uh, chocolate milk and I'm just going to dip a few of my apple slices to add to my fresh apple slices um, to the treat salad. So it's no particular way or design that you 
have to do these just be creative and once you're done dipping you can lay them down on a parchment paper or you can stick them in a foam where they can be standing straight up and the same for your pineapples you want to make sure they are completely dry before dipping into the chocolate all right it may be a little loose on the toothpick but it'll be okay just make sure it's inserted all the way in and then carefully dip rotating it a little bit and then tapping it right on the edge of your cup or bowl and then once that is done then you can place it right onto your surface or your parchment paper now once you have your desired pieces dipped you can double dip these just to have uh, full coated um, fruit and that's of your choice so what I'm gonna do is just dip again and then tap onto the edge of the uh, cup here and then place place it back onto my parchment paper now you can do this um, with different colors of your choice but I chose to use white so here's the cheesecake all right, now you can cut your cheesecake and you can have them in the freezer and you can cut them um, so it can be firm enough to cut in squares. And you just cut up enough squares for your desired package or your de dessert bowl. Now here I have my favorite marshmallow fluff and my cream cheese which I call my fruit dip. So this particular um, dip, I'm adding to this dessert tray because there, this dip is great with fruit, you guys. So you gotta try it. I have shared this also into another post. So you're gonna take your one block of cream cheese, softened cream cheese, and you're gonna take a small jar of the marshmallow fluff and add it to your bowl. And then you want to mix this until it becomes smooth. If you like to add flavor, you can do so. That is of your choice, but it tastes real. The size of this marshmallow fluff to this eight ounce block balance out the sweet taste but it's really, really good um, once you add it to your fruit salad, which is the cream cheese, strawberry crunch, fruit treat salad. So what I'm gonna do here is add some of my dip to my piping bag, okay? And you wanna add it to a piping bag so it can be a little bit more um, controlled as you apply it to your container or your little tray um, so it can be more neat when you add this to your dessert. So now we're going to assemble our strawberry crunch cheesecake fruit treat salad. So taking some of the crumble and I'm adding it right to the bottom of the tray. You want to add just a good even amount. And then you want to start applying your different fruit. There's no particular order that it has to be in, but I'm adding some fresh fruit and then I'm going to add some chocolate fruit. So this is why I call it a, a treat, a fruit treat salad because you got some chocolate fruit and then you got some fresh fruit along with your cheesecake bites, okay? So what I'm gonna do, instead of adding this whole apple, I'm cutting it up in squares for this particular size tray. This is a one pound tray. I will definitely leave a uh, few of these items in the description box below so don't worry about where did I get this or where did I get that 
I will leave it and have it for you in the description box up under this video. So here I'm adding just a few of the chocolate covered pineapples and then I'm going to add an apple slice to this tray and a few of the dipped strawberry slices as well. And then I'm gonna top it off with the cheesecake bite. And like I said, you guys, it's no particular order, but you do wanna, you know, put your cheesecake on top, okay? And after I add my few pieces of cheesecake, I'm going to cover it with crumble. But before I do that, I'm going to add my fruit dips right in the center and just, I don't, um, layer it I just add just a small amount in the center just enough for them to taste because I'm going to apply other toppings to this particular tray so now I'm going to go over it with some crumble And now I'm gonna take some strawberry syrup and go back and forth. And there is one thing that I forgot to add to this particular um, dessert, which I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video. So I'm taking my chocolate and I'm just, you know, drizzling it, drizzling it back and forth. But my little small cherries, I added some small cherries to, yes, my small cherries to these dessert trays and they are amazing. This just tops, topped it off. My family loved it. So I'm just adding a few to top it off for this particular tray. And there you have your strawberry crunch fruit treat salad, okay? So here I'm gonna put my cover over the tray and I'm adding my little special touch, my signature, my logo right to the top of the tray. And like I said, this is a one pound tray and this is good. And with this particular dessert, is good for different occasions, parties, or to sell. But it's definitely a very fun dessert to make. And now I'm going to show you um, another particular tray that is good for sale or for serving a pick up and go. And once again, I'm going to add some crumble to the bottom of it and then I'm going to add in some more fruit. And with this tray, I'm gonna add in the blueberry, which I didn't add in the last tray, okay? Some pineapples. Now, you, it's your desire to add how many fruits or how many chocolate fruit to these particular trays, but you don't want to overpack them, but you just want to make sure it's packed enough so that it can fill up the tray and be worth eating. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to let you know your girl Ro is on with another great video. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoyed this video. For any other videos that you have interest in, 
please check out my channel, Your Sweet Connection, for many other videos to view. Topping it off with my fruit dip and then shaking it a little bit just to move it around or you can tap it onto your surface. Adding that crumble. You guys, I'm not even going to lie. This was a fun dessert to make. And I love it so I hope you guys do too adding these cherries just topped it off so I thought it was really 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 good to make and having the fruit dip and the chocolate made it even better Putting that strawberry syrup. And adding this Merkin's chocolate. All right, you guys, I am all set. You make sure you put your little fork in there. And this is a good tray, a good packaging idea for this particular dessert. And also, you're going to top it off with your desired logo. And there you have it. If you have enjoyed this video, you guys, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.